data as we know is a collection of useful information and it can be represented in various ways like in the form of a pie chart in the form of a bar graph or in the form of a simple line graph so what is the actual importance of the representation of this data it is actually the analysis and interpretation of data the organizations use this interpretation of data in order to carry out their business in a more effective manner and that's why it is very essential to understand this concept okay if you want to go into a very good company or an organization you must understand this and that is why companies prefer these type of questions in the examination so when we solve these type of questions we come across very lengthy calculations we literally pull our hair when we solve these type of questions we think of all these concepts of the world in order to solve these questions and end up getting frustrated so our focus is to build up these concepts using shortcuts and tricks okay the main golden statement which i am talking about is don't do it the hard way when it comes to data interpretation do it in the smart way or the smartest way always remember that logic is greater than calculation so we will focus more on logic and less on calculations let us see the question the question says that the total global exports are equal to 72000 billion dollars with country wise split so the country wise share of their exports are represented in the form of a pie chart these are the names of the various countries like brazil taiwan hong kong and all and in the bracket which is given in the front of each country like brazil 10.8 so that is a 10.8 degree we know that the entire angle covered by a circle is 360 degree so when we say that taiwan is having 18 degree it means that taiwan is having 18 degree out of 360 degree share okay so exports are 72000 billion dollars okay so let us move ahead with the questions based on this uh, data interpretation problem the question is first question by how much does the value of exports of usa exceed that of germany okay so when you see the question the first thought that will come into your mind that let us calculate the exports of usa then let us calculate the exports of germany and then we will find a difference in that but that's not the smart way that's the hard way so when we talk of the smart way just directly subtract the angle between the two and then carry out the calculation okay yes you can directly subtract the angle so difference in usa and germany is 45 minus 32.4 degree so that is 12.6 so in the question it is given that the total global exports are 72 which means that 360 degree equal to 72000 billion dollars so what does it mean that 1 degree is equal to 72000 by 360 billion dollars so this means that 12.6 degree equal to this 12.6 multiplied by 72000 by 360 billion dollars so as we solve it you will get the answer 2520 billion dollars so that is how these are little shortcuts these are little logical things which you must apply in order to solve the data interpretation questions next question based on the same problem is the difference in the value of exports of japan and france is how many times that of uk and taiwan so we need to find the difference in japan and france and then uk and taiwan and then we have to correlate those two differences so as we see the question we need to firstly find out the difference between japan and france so as discussed in the previous we carry out the difference in the angles of japan and france Uh, so in the problem japan is 36 degree and france is 18 degree so the difference comes out to be 18 degree then comes the difference between uk and taiwan so the value for uk we can see is 21.6 degree and what is for taiwan let us rotate it uh, the value for taiwan is 18 degree so it is 21.6 minus 18 equal to 3.6 degree so now we have to just calculate how many times it means that we have to divide the first difference by 6 that is 5 times how simple it becomes 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडरिंग अदर्स एज अ सिंगल कंट्री वॉट इज द नंबर ऑफ कंट्रीज हुट आर मोर देन दी एवरेज एक्सपोर्ट पर कंट्री देर आर वेरियस कंट्रीज बींग डिपेक्टेड इन दिस पाई चार्ट out of this there is the portion name as others which is a large portion okay the large red portion as you can see so the question says that if you consider others as a single country so consider it as a country what is the number of countries whose exports are more than the average exports per country so first of all we have to calculate what is the average export per country okay in the question we are given the total exports that is the total global export Uh, is 72000 billion dollars and as we can count the total countries are 14 in the pie chart so the total angle being covered by them is 360 degree so the average angle will come out to be 360 by 14 which is 25.7 degree now this is the average angle being covered by a single country now we need to calculate the number of countries whose exports are more than the average export per country so we have calculated the average export per country which is 25.7 degree so let us see what are the individual angles for all the countries usa equal to 45 degree japan 36 germany 32.4 uk 21.6 france 18 china 10.8 india 7.2 russia 28.8 australia 7.2 hong kong 10.8 taiwan 18 brazil 10.8 others 104.4 and spain in countries who are having angle greater than the average angle that is whichever countries are having a angle greater than the average angle which is 25.7 degree that will amount for the solution so usa is having greater angle than 25.7 japan's angle is also greater than 25.7 then as we go uh, next germany's angle is also greater than 25.7 then we see which is the next country that is russia is having greater angle than 25.7 and finally we are having others greater than 25.7 so in all in all we have five countries having angle greater than the average angle so that's how simple it becomes when you adopt this methodology of dealing with the angles directly instead of carrying out the wild calculations next question if exports of developing countries accounted for 36% of the total worldwide exports then what is the value of exports of japan as a percentage of exports of the developing countries so here we are being said that the developing countries account for 36% of the total world and as you can see japan is covering the 36 degree okay total angle covered by the circle is 360 degree so japan is 10% of the total okay so here we have to compare the percentages covered by countries in this pie chart okay till now we have been dealing with degrees in the pie chart now in this question we will deal with percentages in the pie chart so japan is 10% of the total and the developing countries as in indicated in the question it accounts for 36% of the total so we can directly compare these percentages okay always remember we can directly compare these percentages so as we compare 10 by 36 we get its ratio and when we multiply it by 100 it we will get the percentage because the question says what is the value of exports of japan as a percentage of the exports of the developing countries so we are comparing japan with the developing countries the answer comes out to be 27.77 percentage okay this is a useful trick this is a useful methodology by which you can really shorten the time in which you solve the also the probability of uh, getting into some kind of error is also minimized in that case i hope you appreciate this method okay and please adopt this method Uh, then from the next video you can see more aptitude concepts and higher level of questions i hope you have subscribed the channel in case not please do hit the subscribe button also do hit the bell icon in order to get the notifications otherwise the notifications so uh, your feedback is very important to us so do give your feedback whatever you feel for the video and whatever more you want from us also in order to get more material regarding this please visit teachmycourse.com right please remember thank you